Hello everyone, this is Mark with All Natural Aquatics. Welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays. This week's edition is glassfish. These fish have been sold under a number of different scientific names over the years, but I'm pretty certain that this one is actually Parambasis siamensis. Um, this is one that typically has been sold with paint or dye injected into it, and it's really one of the worst things that we've ever done to any fish is to start selling these kind of things. Um, and we're really doing this fish a disservice because it's actually a very attractive fish. Very nice fish to look at. Really is a phenomenal fish in a planted tank. Lots of myths about there about, uh, out there about these. This is not a brackish fish. It is a purely freshwater fish. Uh, it can grow to about two and a half inches in length. So really, you know, ideally should be kept in at least a 20 gallon tank. You certainly can keep them in a 10, but I like a bigger tank for them. They do best in a planted tank, look their best in a planted tank, look their best in a large school. And they school very well and very tightly, so that's really nice too in a big group. Uh, I would really consider a minimum of about five to six specimens and ideally over 10. Totally peaceful fish. I've never seen these guys bother any other species in any situation. Now that's not to say that they wouldn't potentially eat a fry of some other fish that's just a really tasty little morsel, but I would not expect them to nip fins to bother any other adult fish. So they're great community fish with just about everything. In fact, you've got to worry more about other fish that outcompete them, that may bother them or may just outcompete them at the meantime. They're not the most aggressive eaters of the bunch. Um, sometimes it takes a little while to get them on the flakes and things, but I've never had any real problem getting them to do that. Initially, you can start them on frozen bloodworms. They'll take those almost instantly. Uh, that always works out well. Once they've settled in, they're really a great fish. The colors are subtle, but there are colors there. They have some bars on the body. A lot of them have uh, black tips in the fins. And, you know, it's really neat to watch everything progress through the digestive system. And, you know, it just makes a nice display animal. So I hope you enjoy these. Please don't ever buy the dyed ones. Take care.